The worst type of Discord scam you could fall for is one where you download a malicious file from a scammer. They could ask you to test their game, download some Discord hacking tools, or get some crack software. And when you open up that sketchy file, you are opening Pandora's box. So what happens when you download Discord malware like Fortnite hacks and you run it? Well, nothing happens, at least for me. I'm an unsuspecting user and I just do what I do best. So I'm gonna go to neopets.com. Gotta log in again. Of course, I just need to enter in my username and I'm gonna enter in my password. And now I'm in Neopets. I have no idea what's going on, but what does the scammer see? Well, instead of the scammer using a super duper fancy website, they use a Discord server. If I open up the Discord server, inside of it, my malware bot has been tracking every single thing you typed in. And this is called a keylogger. And using the logs from the keylogger, we can figure out what websites you've been to and what is your username and password for those websites. I went to neopets.com and I press enter. And then I put in Jim Leahy 123 as my username name and my password is one two three Oh, God, I'm immature. And I think my favorite part about this specific piece of malware is that if I open up my task manager and we go to our startup tab here, you see that Fortnite hacks? Well, anytime I turn on my computer, Fortnite hacks, the malware that I downloaded, will automatically open itself back up and the person that scammed me or sent me this malicious file will be able to read whatever the heck I'm typing in on my keyboard. Now, of course, the malware is not going to be that easy to figure out. This is a very clean Windows install and the malware is named Fortnite hacks so that I can easily tell that it's it's malware when I need to end the task and move on to the next part of this meal because this was just an appetizer. This is nothing compared to what I'm about to show you. Well, oh boy, oh, we're on the new flavor of malware. This is the Garfield malware. Of course, these are just file names named by me, but this malware is very potent. And instead of me pretending that I'm going to play Neopets, instead we're going to see exactly what happens when I open up this malware in the perspective of the scammer. So I open up Garfield and it's just loading and nothing is going to happen. Just like the other people some malware, I open up an exe file and nothing happens. But in the scammer's discord server, it's the command and control center, there are channels being generated. Now inside of these channels, there are things that, my goodness, you don't want people to have information on. In my info page here, we can see my IP address. Of course, I'm on a VPN, this is not my IP address. Thank you to the 500 of you that have told me that I've leaked my IP. It was a VPN, don't worry. But you can see the details of my computer. Yes, this is on a virtual machine because I'm not that stupid. I'm close, but not that stupid. But going into the main tab, this is where things really start to heat up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the file related channel and you can see this recordings channel just sitting here menacingly and we'll get to that later on. But I'm going to run a command that's just going to grab all my passwords because why not, right? I mean, we're on malware. Uh, that's not how you spell grab. Grab passwords. And when I press enter, well, the malware is going to do its work. It's going to figure out where my passwords are and kaboom, grabbed saved passwords that were saved in my Chrome browser. So if I go back to Chrome and I just go to my settings and click on passwords, I have these saved passwords here. And what this malware is doing is accessing the file that stores my passwords, which is in a very common directory and sending it off to the scammer. So now they have my actual Discord password right here. And that actually was my Neopets password, but I'm going to change the account. <laughs> But it doesn't stop there, because I can also grab your history to see whether or not you've been a naughty boy. Oh, and there's this big, beautiful text file that basically shows everything I've done. So I've been on, uh, how to get Fortnite hack, how to remove malware, uh, <laughs> As you can tell, I had a little bit of fun trying to make this history look as realistic as possible, but you can get someone's search history, which uh, isn't the best. But that's not all, because let me just move this window for a second, and on my virtual machine, animations are completely goobered, so forgive me. But uh, maybe I want to see what you're doing, right? So I might as well just do dot screenshot. And, uh, oh, oh, what's that? What's the image going to pop up as? Look, it's a screenshot of my desktop that got sent to the scammer. Now, I mean, just guessing when someone's doing something is is kind of boring, right? So why don't we just do something like dot join? And what is that going to do? Well, the bot is going to join a voice call. And this is very important. I am muted on Discord and I'm going to join this voice call. Hello? Hello? Do you hear that? Do you hear that? That is my voice. That is my voice. Going through going the bot. Through the bot. This, malware this malware is actively, is actively monitoring, monitoring what I am saying. saying. And it's tripping me it's out tripping because me I'm out hearing, because myself, I'm hearing twice. myself twice.
So leaving that because I feel a little violated <laughs> and disconnecting the bot, I, I, I just feel uncomfortable, right? Like what if they're actively monitoring me? Well, I mean, they don't always have to sit at their computer. That's kind of lazy. Instead, what they've been doing is they've been recording every single thing I've been saying in two minute intervals. As you can see, there's this recording from two minutes ago and there's this recording from two minutes ago and another one. I mean, I've been talking for the last two minutes making this video. Let's give a listen to what it has to say. But I'm going to change the account. <laughs> that sure sounds like me in there. Now let's say you were a little worried that you downloaded malware and you're searching up how to remove malware. Well, guess what I can do? I can just do dot show processes and I can see what you're doing. And in this big laundry list, I mean, we could see uh, Garfield.exe, but we could also see Chrome.exe. And I mean, wouldn't it be a shame if you were trying to look for like how to figure out how to remove this malware? And I decided, you know what? Let's just close Chrome. Because why not, right? Do I really want to kill the process Chrome? <laughs> yes, I do, sir. And just like that, I am literally controlling your computer. But it doesn't just stop at closing programs. You can also do a little bit more. For example, I can do .ls to list my directory and what's inside of it. And oh my goodness, is that mom's tax return? Well, I might as well just type in .download and uh, download that mom tax tax return.txt and huh look at that it downloaded the file and then hosted it on discord uploaded it to discord now i mean downloading actual tax returns would be awful because they could figure out where you live and <laughs> a lot of bad stuff could happen from that but let's say this malware wasn't strong enough for me maybe i wanted to do something a whole lot more devious well i could just do dot upload and i could upload a file and i just need to send a file here that i want to upload well let's say this is my very malicious exe file right this is just better discord installer that i have what? All right, scrap that. Instead, let's put on our little Fortnite hacks and upload this to our computer. Now, this file will be uploaded to my computer, but to show you it actually gets uploaded, I might as well just delete Fortnite hacks. Let's say I got rid of one of the viruses that are on my computer. Well, I can just click on this little upload emoji and guess what's going to happen? My malware is going to say, mm, I think it's time for me to download FortniteHacks.exe. Now, the best part is that once I'm done going through your computer, whether it be trying to figure out your passwords, figuring out your browser history, getting a screenshot of whatever the heck you're doing. And finally, just the cherry on top of it all is that it's also a keylogger. It's been logging exactly what I've been doing. But once I'm done with whatever malicious activities I'm doing, I mean, all you need to do is just self-destruct the malware so no one could figure out that you've been in someone's computer. And all you have to do is just run the implode command. And after attaching a very important file to let the malware know that, yes, I'm the person that wants to get rid of the malware, all I need to do is just react with the skull. And guess what? will happen. Mr. Garfield here will no longer exist on my computer. Garfield, no! He's gone forever. Now, the worst part about Discord malware is that everything I did, from stealing your saved passwords, to looking at your browser history, to taking a screenshot of your desktop, all of that stuff could be automated and done in an instant. They don't have to go through this little Discord server and type in commands. I only showed you this Discord server because I thought it was cool that you can control a computer with a Discord server. And I really hope that this kind of scared you and showed you how creepy this could be because I want people to stop downloading sketchy exe files that people send them on discord so just stay safe stop downloading random files okay I'm losing it okay bye bye I love you